Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of Solo Screenings. My name is Emily, and today we are watching episode eight of The Wheel of Time. Yes, it is the season finale. Let's see what they do. Let's see how they wrap this whole crazy wild ride up. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited, y'all. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? I hope so, because here we go. Episode eight. Let's do it. Okay. 3,000 years ago. Okay. The Valerie had someone lose Theron Telemon. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Space time, future vision, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> okay. Good. We're getting closer. <laughs> oh, yay. Are you all right? No, I ain't all right. It was the dark one. He knows where we are. He's coming. <laughs> uh, we still dreaming, right? <sighs> this is a Sir Angria. Thousands of male channelers put the entirety of their strength into this one small object. And when you channel into it, it'll increase your power a hundredfold. Oh, okay. So, all right. All right, so we're just, we're skipping the eye of the world. There must be at least five to ten thousand. There's still more Trollocs pouring out of the bite and gathering at the mouth of Talon's gap. I bloody skin them myself and burn their goat pissing hides. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's neato. You said that whoever goes with the dragon to the afterworld will die there. Does that include you? Why do you think she left land behind? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We will slow his forces as much as we can while our messengers fly in every direction with a light speed at their heels. Let us hope we buy the women and men of this world enough time to stand a fighting chance. I will not let our city fall. Is it bad that I'm more invested in like, in like the cities than I am like the main characters? Does that make sense? What was this place? We have no idea. Every record of its existence was purged from the White Tower's libraries by dark friends. By dark friends? You sure about that? Joya. You take her for a minute. I'll finish it. Hmm. All right, so they flip some visions around here, I see. Okay. Uh oh. Must be an awful feeling to know the one power is there just at the end of your fingertips. But you can't quite touch it. Shh. Lights protect Valdara! The city that has never fallen! Hmm. Interesting. May the last embrace of the mother welcome you home. How can we just sit here while everyone else is willing to fight? I'm standing. <laughs> Loyal, no! <laughs> Damn. What is it? The horn of bloody Valir, lad. Okay. Oh, I, I know it's dark, but I wish it weren't like 
I wish you could see something, you know? <laughs> like... Shit. Shit, she burned her out. <sighs> you can remake the world in your image, boy. Make it what you want. What about what she wants? As much as I love her. Very cool camera work. I really like this. I did it. What is it? What 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 it did you do though? As a book reader, I'm hella confused. There's just so many things right now that are just not at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? To be a woman is to be always alone. I've never no, 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 I need, what are you doing? Feel no. your brain and know that we all stood before you. No. We all stand with you. No. no. What? I lost the bond. Let me back in. I can't. He... I can't. I got so many questions. Okay. <laughs> Did Egwene heal her? Is she healed? Is she burned out? What the f What is that? Quandior? It's Quandior. Okay. All right. Well. What does it mean? That this wasn't the last battle. I fear it was the first. And that's it. Okay. I hope we tops at least like just one, just one Lucian. The far western shore. No, it's not gonna be a Lucian. It's just gonna be another. F oh my god. We're not tying up anything. We're just making more. What is this? The Sean Chan? Yep. At least we're introducing them early on, I guess. Well, shit. Whew. Okay. Well. That was episode eight, and I guess the season's over now. I have a lot of feels. Overall, this is so unfair. All right, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest though. Overall, I'm a little disappointed. Actually, overall, I'm fairly disappointed. Um, however, it's it's so it's so unfair to say that because I know. If this season would have had just like two more episodes, just two more episodes to fill in and pad out the story overall, I, f I feel like I would have been more okay with how this episode turned out. Uh, it's just, there's just so much information. There's so many pieces, so many moving pieces, so many irons in the fire. And just to only have eight one hour episodes to to smush essentially like two books worth of information into, it's so unfair. And I'm trying real, real hard to look at it from just a just the show point of view. But even even in that light, I, I, I feel like if I didn't know anything about the books, I would feel so lost. I mean, and I, I do know the source material, and I'm lost. Um, they they made a few bold and interesting choices, 
we'll go chronologically. How about that? So first and foremost, they showed the 3,000 years ago, you know, the first stage, Luz Theron and the whole, the talking of trying to, you know, make the seal, make the, or seal the bore or whatever I get. I, I'm so confused now. I don't even know exactly what they were talking about. But the look out the window was interesting. So there are illusions made in the books to like, I don't know, maybe it could have been, you know, futuristic kind of situations. And you certainly saw that throughout the, the series, the, the show, you know, you saw what looked to be maybe like, like desiccated uh, skyscraper kind of type situations. Uh, but this certainly was very much, you know, the first stage was hi uh, highly technologically advanced or or advanced in the power you know whatever um but anyways i thought that was interesting thought that was a bold choice but they did it and that's that's cool not mad at it i was just like oh well okay she had future cars the next thing that i wrote down and y'all this is the same this is the same grump that i've had for this particular character the first time they introduced him I still don't know what they're calling him. Ishamael, Balzaman, the Dark One, whoever, whoever that dude is, uh, you know, the 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 arrow with the swooshy face. Oh, it's just I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. There's a part of me that just wishes they would have looked at that that whole CG situation, the whole face thing, and just been like, you know what? Scratch it. Just just drop it put in some very light um effects like over the eyes if you want to but the whole face i i i just don't like it at all it took me completely out of the scene like it wasn't the fact that his mace is that that his face is made of fire and that it was like sloughing off that, that gave me the ooze it was just the whole design of the the entire um cg based prosthetic so I, that's one of those I wish they would have just scrapped it and that's my own opinion right there and I, I hate it so <laughs> sorry another interesting change that they made was that the power all of like the male power had been collected into the song Grial as opposed to the eye of the world itself again this is a deviation from the book uh, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why See, but I don't know. I just have more questions than answers on that. That, but okay, yeah, all right. So that's that's a thing. I thought it was interesting. Again, this is really going to be more for book readers. Uh, sorry, y'all. That they sort of gave Rand Egwene's vision of Joya. That they put him in that instead of her. When it comes time for her to have that particular vision. Um, I mean, I thought it was interesting, but also, I don't know. I didn't love it. I, I'm just so, over, I'm just so underwhelmed by this episode. And it's a really, it's a real bummer because I just know that it probably would have been more impactful if I cared more about the main characters. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. This is this is this is such this is such a bummer for me because I really wanted this episode to be awesome. I wanted it to like tidy up some questions that I had and make me excited for the next season. And uh, yeah, I'm still gonna watch the next season because I'm gonna I'm just gonna stay. I'm a I'm 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 in it. You know, I'm on this train now. Uh, but right now, I'm certainly not like. Oh my god, I can't wait till season two drops. I'm mostly just like, all right. Um, so I don't know. Let me see what else is on my. Yeah, and men just like dipped out. Like they are, they, they are playing her character in a very different light. Um, you know, just, I, I don't know. I'm just curious to see how that whole situation plays out uh, I will say one thing that I did appreciate 
I mean, they 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 got in the you know, made the last embrace of the mother. You know, welcome you home. I've always loved that line. I've always loved that sentiment. So I really appreciated that. Uh, I loved Agamor. Uh, Agamor. I can never say his, his damn name, but like the the leader of uh, Faldara. Uh, but his sister, and I'm terrible, I can't remember her name, uh, but that actress, I'm so awful, y'all. Why am I so judgmental? I didn't care for her. She she took me out of it. Her whole presentation was just, I don't know. It didn't feel great. And then we had the whole, they were, they, they linked and then they burned people out, but yet, but somebody saved Nynaeve, was it Egwene? How? Uh, oh. I just got questions. Are we just jumping straight past? I don't know. This is this is a struggle for me. God, this is such a struggle. I feel like we've pulled six different books into this ending. Like we've taken bits and pieces from like six different books and just smushed them together. And I don't know, up from down. And there's a part of me that's like, you're just frustrated, Emily, because you're a book reader and you don't know what's happening. Yes, that's accurate. But also, I'm not happily confused. I'm not like, oh, well, that's an interesting take. I'm just confused. There's just so much shit that's happened. And I feel like nothing has been resolved. I get leaving a series on, or yeah, I get leaving a series on a cliffhanger to an extent, but something has to resolve somewhere. As it stands, like right now, there was there was no resolve. Like you, they they didn't even establish if Rand even actually did anything good. Like you you have. There's, there's no solid footing anywhere in the series right now. Like, we don't know what the hell's happening with Rand. We don't know what's going on with Moraine. We don't know what's going on with Nynaeve and Egwene. You know, uh, Perrin just let Pat on Fane walk off with the fucking horn. Also, the horn! Um, I, I, I mean, I'm just sort of at a loss. You have to have some semblance of happy ending to keep your viewers interested enough to want to come back and figure out the cliffhanger. And I just feel like this episode was a slap in the face. <laughs> it's like, you want a happy ending? Fuck you. Um, I mean, I'm not even asking for a happy ending. I would just love to have had some resolve somewhere. And I don't think we got any of that. I mean, so many, so many things, so many changes, so many additions, so many, so many loose ends. Also, I'm sorry, are they saying that they killed Loyal? Like, who all's dead? You don't even know who is dead. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting heated now. Um, bro, if they killed Loyal, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I know, I know they did. They can't have. Yeah, so like the horn was just like already at Faldara. I, uh, let me see. I'm trying to make a compliment sandwich. So what was the good thing? What was, there was, what was something, something nice I said. Oh yeah, the last embrace thing. So I like that. And then all of the other shit that I just said. <laughs> and then I liked the camera work there at the end when Rand was doing whatever, breaking a seal or banishing uh, Ishmael or whoever that is. Again, I still haven't even looked to see what the hell they're calling it. I'm so terrible at this. But yeah, the camera work was cool. So I enjoyed that visually. And then the very end, the Sean Chan. The Sean Chan showed up, y'all. Hey guys. Hey guys, the Sean Chan showed up. Again, like visually, they look cool. They look scary, you know? Sean Chan looks scary as hell. The boats looked cool. Their armor was really 
freaky looking. I love the way they had like the Damani uh, with the, the, I don't know, what looked like a gag or something maybe. Um, it kind of reminded me of the uh, Quinari from Dragon Age 2. You know, with the way they, they like muzzled their mage, their mages basically. But yeah, so again, visually very cool. And I get that they introduced them so that they <laughs> have time to build that that background, to build the understanding of this entire massive lore structure. But it was just like one more loose end, one more thing that we're not gonna get any form of information or, 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 or certainly no resolution in the near future. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm just tired because I feel like this, this, this whole season has been like a very weird, just, just a big tease. That's super unfair to say, but it is, it's just how I feel. Overall, the series is, it has some really, really good parts. You know, I loved, I would say, um, you know, episode, you know, five and six in particular those are definitely my favorites uh but i i think one of the biggest the biggest struggles for me is that i don't give two poops about the main characters like the taviran kids you know i just don't care i don't care like of them Nynaeve is the one that i'm most interested in and that's only because she has attachment to lan like lan and moraine for me are like this series right now um and this episode i didn't feel like did them any favors i i, I just i don't know this just bums me out a little bit i want so badly to enjoy it more than i did but it is what it is i guess we'll just have to wait till season two and see what they make. I swear to God, season two, episode one, better have 27 different forms of damn answer or I'm gonna have a come apart. Uh, because at this point, I'm tired of getting stick. You know what I mean? I want a damn carrot. Anyways, sorry, this is kind of a bummer of an episode, guys, but <sighs> hashtag reviewed, I guess. Consider it reviewed. Um. <laughs> You guys tell me what you thought. What what do get leave some comments below. Let me know what are your thoughts on this episode? What are your thoughts on the season overall now? Now that everything's out, um what are, what are you what are your ideas? Specifically those of you who haven't read the books. I really want to know am I just am I am I caught up in my book knowledge? and i'm i'm losing sight of the forest for the book trees you know what i'm saying like what are your thoughts are you following this series are you invested am i just am i missing something uh really looking forward to hearing you guys your take on it um so definitely let me know leave some comments below if you don't mind, please make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We recently broke uh, 30,000 subscribers and it was just super duper awesome. And, you know, keep an eye out. We'll be making some neat announcements in the next few days. Um, but yeah, thank you as always for watching along. I hope you are not as disappointed as I am because I want you to be happy, viewer. I want you to be happy, okay? <laughs> Uh, but for, for now, that's going to be it for the Wheel of Time series. We'll be moving on to another uh, streamable series here very soon. And um, until then, guys, we'll see you. Bye.